Hello, I need to register for a class. What class are you trying to take? I want to take a psychology class. Well, there are only two classes open. Can you tell me what days the classes are on? One class is on Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 4 p.m. And the other class? That class is from 10 to 12 on Monday and Wednesday. Are you sure these are the only open classes? Yes, I am sure. Okay, sign me up for the class on Monday and Wednesday. Very well then. I would like to register for a class today. No problem. What class would you like to take? I would very much enjoy taking a psychology class. There are two classes that are still open. Which days are these classes on? The first class is a Tuesday and Thursday class from 2 to 3. What about the other class? The other class is on Monday and Wednesday from 10 until noon. Are you sure there are no more open classes? I'm positive. Sign me up for Monday and Wednesday. Okay, I'll sign you up. Could you help me to register for a class? Do you know what class you want to take? Are there any psych classes available? I believe there are still two psychology classes open. On what days are the classes? There is one class on Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 4. Can you tell me about the other class? It's from 10 to 12 on Monday and Wednesday. You're positive that these are the only classes left? These two are the only ones. The class on Monday and Wednesday will be fine. Very good. Hello, how are you doing? Pretty good, and you? I'm doing great. That's great to hear. So, how long have you been going to PCC? I've been going here for a couple of years now. You? This is my first year. How do you like it so far? It's all right. You don't like it. I'll like it better once I finish my GE. That's exactly how I used to feel. How are things with you? Not too bad. How about yourself? Not bad. I'm glad to hear that. Have you been going to PCC long? I've only been here two years. How about yourself? I just started this year. Do you like it? It's fine for right now. You do not like it, right? Once I'm finished with my GE, it should get better. I felt the same way my first year. How is everything going with you? Great. You? Pretty good. Good for you. When did you start going to PCC? This is my second year. How about you? I only got here this year. You like it so far? It's okay. I can tell you don't really like it. It'll get better after I finish my general education. I understand what you mean. Could you help me? What do you need? I can't seem to find my class. What building is it in? It's in the C building. Oh, I know exactly where that is. Do you think you can tell me where it is? Sure. What room number is it? It's room number 261. I have a class around there right now. Could you show me where it is? No problem. Come on. Excuse me. I need your assistance. Sure. What's up? I have no idea where my class is. Tell me which building it's in. My class is in the C building. I know where the C building is. Do you mind telling me where it is? Of course. Which room number is it? Number 261. I actually have a class right around there. Can you please show me? I can do that. Do you mind helping me? What can I help you with? I'm not sure how to find my next class. Do you know what building that's in? The C building, I think. Well, that's not far away. Could you point me in that direction? Do you know what the room number is? It's C261. My next class is around there. Can you show it to me? Sure, let's go. Great. How do I buy my textbooks? Do you have your book list for your class? Yes, I have my list. Fine. Once you have it, you can go to the bookstore. Do you know where that is? Yes, I know where the bookstore is. Okay, so once you pass the gym, it's the first store on your left. Do you know you can also sell your used textbooks there? No, I didn't know I could do that. You just take them with you and trade them with the used textbook man just outside the door. Do you think you'll be going there today? Yes, I am going today. Well, if you decide to go, I could meet you over there at 1 today or tomorrow to help. 
Would that work for you? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Well then, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Where can I buy textbooks? First, you need to have the list of books for your class. Do you have that? Yes, I have that. Well, when you have that, you can take it over to the bookstore. Can you find it? No, I don't know where the bookstore is. Just pass the gym, and it's the first door on your left. Were you were you aware that you can also turn in your old textbooks for money? Really? How can I do that? Take your used textbooks with you and give them to the representative near the entrance. He will pay you for them. Are you going today? No, I can't make it today. I could help you with buying your books if you meet me there at one today or tomorrow. Would you like my help? No, thanks. I'm good. I'll see you later then. Have a great day. Can you help me buy my textbooks? There will probably be a book list in the bookstore. Do you have your class schedule handy? No, I don't have that. To get started, take that list over to the bookstore. Do you know where the bookstore is? I am not sure where the bookstore is. When you pass the gym, it'll be the first door on your left. Do you know how to sell your old textbooks for money? Yes, I knew I could do that. Exactly, how do I go about selling them? If you give your used textbooks to the person at the booth outside the door, he will reimburse you. Can you go over there today? I think maybe I could be there. I am free at one today or tomorrow if you need some help. Want to meet me over there? Maybe that would work. I'll catch you later on. Have a wonderful morning. Could you tell me if you have ever taken a class from Doctor Miller? Yes. Are you going to be taking a class from him? Yes, but I have never taken his class before. He is very interesting and challenging. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, that's what I need. He is really clear on what you need to learn to get a good grade. Are you willing to study hard? Yes, I guess so. What I really liked about him is that he was an understanding and friendly teacher. Do you enjoy that in a teacher? Yes, I had a teacher like that before. Did you know that he has twenty years teaching experience? No. I didn't, but that could be a good thing. Well, take a look at everything and figure out what is best for you. Good luck. Do you know anything about Doctor Miller's classes? Yes. Are you in his class? I'm thinking of taking his class next semester. He really knew his stuff, but he graded hard. Would that be okay? Yes. I really need someone who is really good. I didn't find it overwhelming to earn a good grade. If you work at it, can you do that? Maybe, but I'm not sure. Man, this guy was so funny when he was teaching. I like that, don't you? No, that stuff isn't important to me. Did you know that he is a fairly new teacher and very current in his field? I don't care about any of that. We all are looking for different things in an instructor. I hope I've helped you. Would you talk to me about taking one of Doctor Miller's classes? Yes. Have you ever been in one of his classes? I'm thinking about taking his class next semester. He was a very easy teacher. Are you thinking of taking a class with him? I'm not sure because I really need to learn something, but I also worry about grades. Grades are important, but don't you think that gaining the knowledge is important too? I really need to learn this stuff. He made everything so interesting that the time just flew by. Do you know what I mean? Yes, that sounds right for me. Did you know that he came here last year after ten years in the military? Yeah, I already knew that. That could be a good thing. I think you know that you have to make the best decision for you. Enjoy your year, Professor. Could I make an appointment with you? I am free tomorrow afternoon between two and four. Do you have a particular time in mind? Two o'clock would be the best time. Fine. Do you know where my office is? No, I'm not sure. Remember, it is in the E building on the third floor. I see. Don't worry. It will work out fine once you get there. I'll see you then. I'll see you then. Looking forward to meeting with you. Excuse me, professor. Is there a time when I could meet with you? I could meet with you tomorrow, anywhere from two until four. What time works out best? I would like to come in at three o'clock. I'm glad that works out. Can you find my office? Yes.
I, w- I can. Just follow the walkway to the outside and climb the stairs to the third floor. I got it. If you do get lost, just ask someone in the building to point the way. Thank you. I'll be there. If you need to cancel your appointment, please give me a call. Professor, do you have a few moments when I could meet with you? I scheduled my appointments from 2 to 4 on Saturday. What works best for you? 3 would be a good time. Great. Do you need directions to my office? I'm not sure. Well, just make sure to go through the double doors and I'll be on the right. Okay, I'll find it. It's very easy to find. See you then. I will enjoy seeing you. Have a good week. Excuse me, Professor. I have to talk to you about why my homework didn't get done. What happened that you didn't get it done? I had to watch a football game instead. Well, you had more than one day. Couldn't you have fit it in on another day? Yes, I think so. Either way, I only allow one missed assignment per semester. When will you be turning the makeup in? I'll make it up next week. Fine, but it cannot happen again if you want an A in the class. Okay, I can do that. Remember that you are in college now, not high school. I don't have my homework today. You usually are good about turning it in. What happened? I was really sick. But couldn't you have done it when you felt better? Yes, I probably could. You've already missed one other assignment. When can I expect the makeups? Next class meeting. That will be soon enough, but make sure you get next week's assignments in as well, all right? That would work for me. Good. I know that you are capable of being an excellent student. Let me tell you what happened to my homework. Okay, go ahead. What is the, the excuse this time? Actually, I did it, but then it got lost. Could you have gotten it done at another time? Yes, I could. You have never missed an assignment before. When will you be making this one up? I'll make it up early next week. That would work, but don't let it happen again. I'll try. That will solve it then. Let's work hard to not let it happen again. Excuse me, Professor. I think there might be an error in my test score. Sure. Do you think that the total is wrong or that you get something marked wrong that should have been marked right? I think that the percentage is incorrect. Let's just go over all of it to double check. Sure, let's do it. Here's the answer sheet. Do you see a place where I marked something wrong that should have been right? I don't see any mistakes. Okay. Now that we've gotten those straightened out, let's total the score. Yes, let's total it. Well, if I total that like this and divide by this number, I get this total. Do you agree? Yes, you're right. Well then, we are all straight. Have a good day and thanks for bringing that to my attention. I was looking at my test score and think that it should be higher. Is the math wrong or the way the answer was marked? I think an answer got marked wrong that should have been marked right. These things can happen. Let's double check. The answer is first to be sure, all right? That would be great. Look at the answer sheet and compare it to your answers. Do you see any place where I made a mistake in grading? This one right here should be right. Yeah, I see the same thing. Now we can do the math and check that, right? Yeah, let's do the math. I count all the correct answers, total them, and divide by the total. Does this look right to you? Looks pretty good. Thank you for caring enough to check on your scores. Keep studying. Could we go over some things because I think my test score is wrong? What do you think is wrong? The math or the way you answered was scored? Both. I am willing to take a second look because teachers make mistakes too. Will that work for you? Yeah, I'm ready. Check your answers against the ones on the answer sheet. And let me know where you see the mistake. These look strange. Yes, I agree. Let's move on to calculating of the score. Would that be okay? Okay, let's do the calculation. We add all of these up and divide by this, and that gives us the, this percentage. I see. Anytime you have a question, please feel free to ask. 
Do you have the notes from last week's class? Did you come late? I couldn't make it. Why is that? I was sick. Oh, okay. Well, here you go. Are these all of them? Oh, wait. Here are the rest. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. Do you mind if I borrow the notes from last week? Were you here last week? I was unable to make it. How come? I was sick that day and couldn't make it. Well, here are the notes. Are there any more? Sorry, here you go. Thanks a lot. No problem. Let me get last week's notes. Yeah, sure. You didn't come to class that day. I couldn't come. Why not? I wasn't feeling well. Here they are. Thanks a lot. Are these all the notes? Oh, no. This is the rest. Thank you very much. It's no problem at all. I was wondering how you were going to calculate our final grades. Grades are based on many things homework, attendance, quizzes, midterm, and final. What counts the most? Actually, I look at all of it and let's not forget class participation. Do you grade on a curve or use percentages? Homework, attendance, and quizzes are 60%. The midterm and final are worth 20% each. What if we miss something? I will allow one unexcused absence. After that, you need to contact me ahead of time. Will you tell us if we are failing during this year? You will be able to track your progress during the year. What do you base our grades on? All of the coursework is important, including everything from attendance and homework to all of your test results for this semester. Does the final count the most? All of it is important. Please just do your best at all times. How do you total our scores? The final and midterm are 20% each. Homework, attendance, and quizzes are the rest. What if we are out sick? Make sure you contact me as I will only allow one unexcused absence. How can we know if we are doing okay during the year? Your grade will not be a surprise. You will know what you need to work on. How do you decide what grade we get? I look at many things, attendance, quizzes, and tests. What is the most important factor? Obviously, I look for improvement as we go along, but I would like you to do your best from the beginning. How can we keep track of our grades? The final and midterm are 40% of your grade. Homework, attendance, and quizzes total 60%. What if we can't get to school? You can only miss one class without penalty. If we have a major problem, will you let us know? I will be letting you know during the year if you have a major problem. I'd like to talk to you about my grades. Sure. What exactly do you have questions about? I'm worried that I messed up on a test. Well, let me take a look at my grade book. How do you think you are doing? I think I'm doing great, except for that one test. Well, your scores show that you could do a little better. What do you think you could improve on? I think that I could study a little harder for tests. Fine. Please remember that regular attendance is the most important way to begin. Yes, I know. I'm sure you'll do fine. Could you talk to me for a few minutes about my grades? Step into my office for a moment. What is your concern? Am I failing? Let's go on the computer to see what's up. Do you think you are doing well? I'm pretty sure that I am in trouble. I can see that you are trying, but where do you think you could improve? I missed a few classes. I need to make sure I come to school on a regular basis. Having a regular study routine and following it is very important, right? I'll try. It's hard. Thanks for stopping by. Professor, I'm concerned about my grades. Do you have a minute? Of course. How can I help you? I want to know if I am doing okay. Let's pull out your score so far. Do you think you are doing okay? I am afraid that I might not be doing all that well. I'm seeing that you are doing okay in some areas, but not so well in others. I think I could take better notes and read a little more. You can greatly improve your grades by always reflecting on what you can improve on. I'm working on it. Just do your best, and I am sure that you will see improvement. Excuse me, Professor. I'm going to miss next week's class. Is this something that you could schedule for another time? No. I have to do this. It's important. 
Have you arranged for someone to take notes for you? I've made arrangements with a friend to help me. You know that I only allow one absence per semester, don't you? Yes, I know. Write down your name and the date on a piece of paper and give it to me. Okay, I can do that. Well, have a good day off from class. Professor, I will not be here for our next class meeting. Is this absolutely necessary? I tried to work something out, but I really do have to miss one class. Will you be able to make up the work you missed? I'm going to be doing a lot of extra reading. Remember that I will only let you miss one class meeting per semester. Yes, I remember. Could you email me this week as a reminder? Sure, no problem. Make good use of that day off. You'll only have one this semester. I have to miss school next week. Isn't there some way you could work your schedule out to be here? Unfortunately, that is what I have to do. How are you going to catch up? I've got it all covered. If you miss this class, you will have used up your quota for the semester. Don't worry. This will be the last class I miss. Make sure to remind me right before you are absent. I'll remember. Enjoy your day off and don't forget to study. Professor, I'm going to need to leave class early today. What's the problem? I need to go to the airport to pick up a relative. Are you planning on having someone take notes for you? Yes, I've got that part covered. Hmm, what exactly do you need to leave? I don't need to leave until the very end of class. Fine, but next time try and not have to miss the class again. Thanks, Professor. See you later. See you later. Now drive carefully. Excuse me, Professor. I have a problem and need to leave class early. Why do you have to leave early? I am not feeling well. Could you make it up by attending my other section this week? Yes, it's all taken care of. Are you leaving right away, or can you stay for a few more minutes? I can stay a few more minutes. Okay, but please make sure that you get all of your makeup work completed. Thanks, Professor. I've got it covered. Go do what you have to do. But make sure it doesn't happen again. I am sorry, but I can't stay until the end of class. Where do you need to be? That is more important than school. I have an appointment. Do you have a plan to make up your missed work? No, but I'll make sure someone helps me out this week with my missed work. Are you going to go right away? I am leaving right now. All right, but please remember that it is your responsibility to catch up. Thanks, Professor. I'll make sure everything gets taken care of. Goodbye, and try not to miss any more school. I have an appointment for 1 30. What can I help you with? Well, I have a problem with my class schedule. What is it? It seems that I've been given two classes scheduled at the same time. I can understand the problem with that. Is there any way that you can fix my schedule? No problem. Do you want those classes still? Yes, I do. Let me see if I can find one of these classes. On another day. Thank you very much. I'm here for my appointment. What can I do for you today? I have an issue with my schedule. Tell me the problem. I have two classes on here that are at the same time. Oh, I see. Can you change that for me? Do you still want both classes? Yes, I would like to keep both classes. I'll try to change one to a different day. I would greatly appreciate that. I was supposed to meet with you at 1 30. Yes, I see. What did you need to see me about? There's a problem with my schedule. What's the problem? Two of my classes occur at the same time. Well, I can see that's a problem. Is it at all possible for you to fix that error? Yes, I can. Would you still like to have both of these classes? I want to keep both of them if that's possible. Well, Let me find you one of these classes on a different day. Thanks a lot. I am unsure how to add a class and need help. I have an opening. Do you have an ad sheet for me to sign? Yes, I have an ad sheet. After I sign it, you must take it to the admissions and records office to add the class. Do you know where that is? No, I'm not sure. When you cross the quad, the office is right in front of you. Go inside and follow the signs to the correct line. Thanks. I understand what to do now. It should be easy to find. After you add the class, check with me in a few weeks to make sure that you are on my roll sheet. That sounds good. Good. Just make sure that you do the same thing if you ever need to drop a class. Good luck. Professor, 
Can you help me add your class? You have to bring me an ad sheet to sign. Do you have one? No. I will have to get an ad sheet. You must take the signed ad slip to the admissions and records office to add the class. Do you know where that is? No, I, I don't know where that is. The office is in front of you as you cross the quad. The signs in the hallway will tell you where you need to be. I think I can find it. You'll find it easily. Make sure you add the class, and then we will look at the roll sheet later to make sure that you were added on. Thank you for letting me add your class. To drop a class, you may need to do the same thing with a drop slip. Good luck. I'm not sure how to add a class. Do you have an ad sheet for me to sign? I'll bring one next time. When you get the signed ad slip, you must take it to the admissions and records office or you will not be added. Can you find the office? I think I know where it is. Across the courtyard on the right is the office. Follow the signs to the correct line. Is that clear? Thank you for your directions. It's clear. You can't miss it. Add the class and then come back. We'll check later to make sure you are on the roll sheet. That's great. Thank you so much. Do the same thing with a drop slip if you ever need to drop a class. Good luck. When are we leaving for our field trip? Our science field trip is next Monday at 8 in the morning. Can you mark that on your calendar? Yes, I will write that down. That will be Monday, December 2nd. We need to start loading the buses half an hour early, so plan to arrive at 7.30. Yes, I will be there on time. We will return six days later on December 8th. Will someone be picking you up? Yes, someone is coming to get me. The return bus will leave the campground at 5 p.m. and return to campus three hours later at 8 p.m. What should we bring with us? I'm going to post all of that information on the Geology Club webpage. Check it out when you get a chance. See you Monday. Can you tell me what the date and time of our field trip is? We are leaving on our science field trip at 8 a.m. next Monday. Do you have something to write that down on? Yes, I can write that on my calendar. That will be on the 2nd of December. Be there half an hour early to get your bags on the bus. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. The bus will bring you back six days later on December 8th. Is someone coming to get you? No, I don't have a ride yet. We will be leaving the campground at 5 in the evening and arrive at our campus at 8 p.m. Any more questions? How much will the trip cost? I put all that information in the packet. I'll give you another copy if you need one. See you on Monday. What date will our field trip be on? The science field trip is next Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning. Do you want to make a note of that on your calendar? Yes, I will make a note of that. Next Monday is December 2nd. The buses will leave at 8, but we must begin loading at 7.30. I'll be there half an hour early. You might want to tell whoever is picking you up that you will return on December 8th. Do you have a ride? Yes, someone is picking me up. To get back to campus by 8 p.m., we will be leaving the campsite at 5 p.m. Do you have any more questions? Not at the moment. Maybe later, though. All of the extra information that you need is on the bulletin board in the hallway. See you on Monday. Hi, could you help me find a place where I could buy some lunch? Sure. What kind of food would you like? I was thinking of pizza or something else Italian, maybe. I know the perfect place. Good. Where is it? It's right past the last building on the left. Do you want me to go with you? That would be great. Glad you asked me to join you. This will be fun. Man, I'm hungry. Do you know a good place to have lunch? Yes, I know a great place. What type of food do you like? Mexican, Japanese, or Chinese would be great. Oh, I know a place where you might like to eat. Is it close by? It's down a block on the right. Can I show you the way? Okay, I'd love the company. This will work out well. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Let's have some lunch. Do you know of a great restaurant somewhere? Yes, I'm hungry. What types of food sound good? Maybe just a quick sandwich, salad, or something. I have a great idea of where you might like to go. Can we walk there? It's on the second floor. May I join you? Of course. Let's go. Let's hurry. I'm starving. Can you help me figure out how to use this vending machine? Yes, I would be happy to help. What do you want to buy? I want to buy that candy. Okay. 
So this machine will make change if you need it. Do you have your dollars ready? Yeah, so far so good. Next, you feed your dollars into the machine in the slot. Make sure they are smooth. Yeah, I already knew that. I'm sure you know that if the dollar gets stuck, you might have to refeed it. Okay, let's move on. Now you just make your selection and pray. If nothing comes out, try again or call the number on the side of the machine or give it a good whack. I hope it works. Well, good luck. I've never seen a machine like this before. I need some help. Sure, no problem. What are you trying to get? I want to buy a drink. Okay, this machine needs you to use the change machine first to get correct change. I've got the correct change already. First, you put your money in the dollar slot or the coin slot. The dollars have to be smooth. Okay, what's next? Just know that sometimes the money doesn't go in perfectly the first time, and you have to try again. Okay, next. Choose what you want and push the button. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. I agree with you. Hope that works for you. I want to know how to buy something from this machine. Yeah, the new ones can be tricky. What are you trying to buy? I want to buy one of those snack things. Are you ready to go? I'm clear so far. The money goes in the slot over there. It has to be smooth to go in. It won't go in. Just remember that you might have to feed the money in a couple of times to get it to work. Yes. Next step. Make your selection and hope for the best. Vending machines aren't all that reliable. They're totally unreliable. You seem to have it down. Have a good day. Excuse me. I'm interested in getting a library card. Sure. Let me give you an application. You can fill it out right here at the counter. Okay, here it is. Let me take a look at this for you. May I have your driver's license, please? Here's my license and form. You seem to have filled the form out all right. Are you familiar with our rules and fines? Yes, I know what to do. The hours and limitations are printed on the card and this handout. Okay. Thank you for joining the library. We look forward to serving you. I was wondering if you could help me to get a library card. Of course. Just fill out this form and let me know when you are finished. I'm finished. I will also need your driver's license. Hand me the filled out form, please. Okay. The form is all filled out. Perfect. Do you know the hours and rules for the library? No, I have no idea what they are. Everything you need to know is printed on the card and handout. Yes, right. Great. You are all set to enjoy the library. Good morning. Is this where I can get a library card issued to me? Yes, no problem. We have a short form right here. Just hand it to me when you are done. I'm done. That looks great, but I will also need your driver's license or other form of ID. Sure. Here it is. Well, this looks nice. Do you know how to use it? I am pretty sure how to use it, but can you remind me? Of course. Just remember that all of the needed information is on the card. I see. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time on your library visits. Can you help me with the returning of my late books? This is the right spot to pay your fee. Put your books down right here. Okay. I can see that you owe twenty-five cents a day. That will be one dollar and fifty cents total. Okay. Here's the money. We are interested in getting our books back. So as long as all the fines are paid off by the end of the semester, you will be fine. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. Your registration and transcripts can be held up if there is an outstanding fine. Now I understand. Well, you can always keep your late fees down by using the night drop if we are closed. Enjoy the library. These books should have been turned in last week. You have come to the correct place. Hand me your books. Here they are. Whoa, these are pretty late. You owe five dollars total to clear your fine. I don't have the money right now. We only require that all fines must be paid off by the end of the semester, so you will be okay to go. What would happen if I didn't pay it? It's really important to always clear your fines, so you'll get a report card and transcripts on time. Yeah, but I don't know how they can do that. Always remember that the night drop is here, and we really appreciate you returning your books for all to use. My library books are late. Where can I put them? 
This is where they need to be turned in. Let me see them to check the date, okay? Yeah. I think that they are really late. Not all that late. You only owe the library 50 cents. What if I can't pay it? We appreciate you paying off all fines as soon as possible, but always before the end of the semester. Yeah, I get it. Your report card and transcripts will be held until you pay all fines, so always make sure that you do that. That's not really fair. If we aren't here, always feel free to use the night drop outside. Thanks for coming in. Excuse me, could you help me figure out how to use this new parking meter? Sure. It was confusing for me also. Have you ever used a regular meter? Yes, I understood the old one. Well, on this one, you can use coins or a debit or credit card. Which one would you like to use? Debit or credit card. Okay. Now, do you see what the rate is on the sticker? Yes. Okay. Now that we know what it will cost, put the money or card into the machine. Yes, I can do that. Wonderful. Now, the machine asks you the number of your spot, so put that in also. Yes, I'm ready. All you have to do now is take your receipt and put it on your dashboard. Whoa, I never saw a meter like this before. How do you use it? It's simple. Once you do it a few times, do you know how the old one worked? I never used a parking meter before. So we start out by deciding whether you will use cash or a credit or a debit card? Cash. Fine. Can you read the rate on the display? Yes, I can. Fine. Now that we know what they are ripping us off for, insert the payment. I'd rather not pay, but I have to. Fine. This machine does not ask you the number of your spot, so we can move on, all right? Perfect. Let's do it. Now just check the meter to see how many minutes you have. This parking meter is really confusing. Can you help me figure it out? It's just like the old one, but with new stuff added. Yeah, okay. The first step is deciding on debit or credit card payment. So which one is it? I have coins. Perfect. Now, can you see the rate on the sign? I didn't see that, but now I do. Once you know what it will cost, put the payment in. Here it goes. You are doing great. Let me move on to the next step. I am a little confused. Just make sure that everything registered and then you are good to go. I'd like to purchase a parking permit for next semester. Are you a daytime student or do you just come in the evenings? I am a daytime student. Will you be driving a motorcycle or a car? I will be driving my car. Okay. That will be $25. How would you like to pay for it? I'll pay for it with a check. Would you like to pay for an extra permit for another vehicle? No, thanks. I'm fine. Here you go, then. Have a great school year. I'll need a parking permit for next semester. Do you attend school during the day or only at night? I only attend class part-time in the evenings. Do you drive a motorcycle or an automobile? I have both, but I usually use my car to get to school. Great. The price for that permit is $30. Cash, check, or credit card? I'll pay cash. Do you need to buy a duplicate permit for a second vehicle? No, thank you. Okay. Here is your permit. Enjoy the next semester. I want to buy a parking permit, please. Are you a full-time student, or do you attend part-time in the evenings? I attend both day and evening classes. Will you be riding a motorcycle, or do you drive a car? I ride a motorcycle. That permit will run $25. Will that be cash or credit card? I'll use a credit card, thank you. Do you need a second permit for your car? No, just the motorcycle permit. Fine. Here it is, and have a great semester. Can you tell me where I can park? Are you driving a motorcycle or an automobile? I drive an automobile. Fine. You can either park in the student lot or on the street. Do you know what ha handicapped space is? Yes, I have seen those spots. Well, when you see the blue spots with the handicapped logo, do not park there unless you have a special permit. Are you going to be parking in the daytime or the evening? I park in the evenings. Then you also need to be aware of the time limits on the street signs. Have you seen those signs? Yes, I have seen the signs. 
the signs always tell you how long you can park there and on what days. Do you know how to read the curb colors? Yes, I know what the curb colors mean. Well, just as long as you realize that red means no parking and white means no loading and unloading, I think you know what you need to know. Where should I park? Do you have a car or a motorbike? I drive a scooter. In that case, you can park either in a student lot or on the street. Are you aware of the marked handicap spots? No, I haven't seen those spots. The handicapped logo with blue means that you are not to park there unless you have a handicapped permit. Will you mostly be parking during the day or the night? I park in the daytime. Make sure you pay special attention to the street signs with time limits. Have you noticed those signs? No, I have not seen the signs. Pay attention to what the signs tell you in terms of time limits and what days you can park there. Do you know what the curb colors mean? No, I don't know what the colors mean. Just remember the red means absolutely no parking and white means loading and unloading only. I think you'll be good to go. What is the best place to park? What vehicle do you usually bring to school? Is it an automobile or, or a motorbike? I drive a motorcycle. Okay. That means you can park in the student lot or on the street. Have you seen the handicap spots? I'm not sure what a handicap spot is. Look for the blue signs and blue marked spaces. Do you usually park in the daytime or the evening? I park days and evenings. And be careful about the time limits on the streets. Have you seen the signs for time limits? What signs? As long as you are careful reading the signs, you will always know how long you can park and what days are okay to park there. Are you aware of the curb colors? What curb colors? If you can remember that red means absolutely no parking and white means that you can only load and unload, you're going to be okay. Hey, I got this parking ticket. Can you help me figure a way out of it? First of all, did you park somewhere too long or in the wrong spot? I was there too long. Was the area clearly labeled with the time limit and all? Yeah, I saw it. You will need to convince the judge that you couldn't see the signs. Yeah, I understand. Whatever you do, you need to be respectful and polite to the judge. Yeah, you're right. Just try to talk to him about how, if you made a mistake, that it won't happen again. Okay. Good luck. Man, I got another parking ticket. I'm so unlucky. What can I do? Was your car where it wasn't supposed to be, or did you stay there too long? I was in an area where I wasn't supposed to park. Could you tell where you were supposed to park and for how long? I could tell what I was supposed to do. That's too bad. That means that you can't use receipts or a witness to help you out. I guess not. Try brown nosing the judge, but don't be too obvious about it. Sure, if it will help. Try and convince him that something was labeled wrong or something. Sounds good. Give it your best shot. It might work. I don't know how to fight a parking ticket. Did you get written up for exceeding the time limit, or for parking where you weren't supposed to be? Both. Did you see all the signs and just decide to blow them off? I was confused. Maybe you could explain that you are new and got confused. Could you do that? If it might work, I'll go for it. Let the judge see. That you are only a poor, starving student who won't do it again. I can see how that might work. Without actually saying that the parking ticket guy was an idiot, make it seem as though it was his mistake, not yours. I could do that. Try it. It just might save your price of a parking.